You know, when I look around at all the entrepreneurs who are grinding it out, spending 70 to 80 hours per week growing their business, you have to ask yourself the question, at what cost? Hi, my name is Tim Uchuk, and in this podcast, we're going to be exploring the tools, tactics, and strategies for crushing it and scaling your business without making the ultimate sacrifice of your time and freedom. Hey, what's up, everyone? Tim Uchuk here coming to you from the road. I have been uh, driving since 4.30 this morning, headed back to the island. Hopefully, I'm going to be on the ferry in about two hours. But uh, I've hit two charging stations so far uh, with the Tesla and thought I would jump on here since I'm on the road. And I wanted to share a story with you. And I think it's going to be a helpful one, especially if you have team members and you have faced the all too common challenge of communication when it comes to how you do things. So in other words, your processes within your business. And this is one of the core um, universal challenges. And, you know, it makes sense, right? When you, if you've ever played the telephone game, the more people you have on your team, the more cooks in the kitchen, the more chances of uh, miscommunication, misinterpretation and things going awry. It's easier when you have a small team or it's just you. But when you start adding um, more uh, stakeholders, it gets really challenging. And so, you know, as I mentioned in uh, in my last episode, to have a framework around um, talking about what you do to get everyone aligned on the same page, for me, is everything. It's so powerful and, and, and really, really important. And the mantra that I want to share with you before we get into this is when you think about anything in your business, when you want stability And when you want things to run smoothly, just repeat to yourself, how you do one thing is how you do everything. And so, you know, anything that's recurring in your business, if it's done a different way every time, it's it's just going to be chaos, right? Um, And and the other quote, which goes, uh, if you can't explain something as a process, or if you can't explain what you're doing as a process, then you don't understand what you're doing. And so I want to share with you my trick to um, explaining something as a process. And it's actually really, really easy. It's a, an awesome framework. And all you need really is a piece of paper and a pen, or even better if you're with your team, a whiteboard and a dry erase marker. And so just getting back to the, to the challenge, um, my client, she's just moved into a new building. They're expanding like mad, hiring a, a lot of uh, different stakeholders. And again, it's a rental company, so you can imagine trucks um, enter the facility, uh, they drop off, they load up, and then they drive out and, and um, you know, they, they drop off the equipment and so on. So a lot of um, a lot of dispatching, scheduling, and, and that kind of stuff, coordinating. And so there's a lot of room for, for chaos here. And the exercise that we went through, I want to share with you because um, once you understand this, it's going to be so much easier for you to talk about what you do with your team members. So picture this, if you have a whiteboard or a piece of paper, think about a one of your processes. Could be in the front of your business, so in the sales side of your business, could be in the operations. Think in terms of, uh, let's say a customer, they give you the green light, they want to, um, they want to hire you, right? And let's say we're talking about that. Your customer gives you the green light, they want to hire you, and then you have to deliver a result. So what you want to do is when you have your team member around you um, is go to the whiteboard and draw a horizontal line, just a horizontal line. And on the front of that horizontal line, on the left hand side, you're going to draw a line, a vertical line, and it's going to say start. And on the right side of the line, it's going to say finish. And what you want to do is orient your team members if you're um, in the room with team members and uh, agree on what is the starting point and then agree on what is the finishing point. And so in the example that uh, we're talking about here is the customer has just um, said, given you the green light. So underneath the start, you would write, um, you know, receive or order confirmation from customer, order confirmation, something like that. And then on the finish, it could be, um, you know, customer invoiced, whatever that finish is. So you define uh, where does it start and where does it end? Because most of the time when we're talking about things, we could be all over the map in terms of what we're talking about and, and where this thing starts and where it ends. 
So define what the start is, define what the finish is on this line. Above the line, I want you to agree with your team members and give it a name so you can talk about it. So it could be your, um, your order fulfillment process. It could be your, you know, customer delivery process. Give it a name so that you guys can talk about it. And if you're going to have a follow-up meeting, you can you can um, invite people to the, you know, uh, process draft meeting for the um, customer order fulfillment process, whatever you're giving it, right? So you want to give it a name so you can talk about it. It's, it's no longer abstract. You want to give it a start. You want to give it a finish. Now what we want to do is from a 30,000 foot view, is carve out the milestones chronologically. So for example, let's say the uh, the customer gives you the green light. Uh, so step one above the start is, is order confirmation. Step two could be um, scheduling. So schedule when you're going to start the work. Step three could be, and we're, we're thinking really high level, right? It could be do the work. Uh, step four could be um, finalize and deliver to client depending on what that means within your industry and then the final step would be invoice right so again we're focusing on the high level steps and you're going to draw vertical lines for each of these milestones so what you're looking on a board is a chronological timeline with the major milestones chronologically you know where the start is you know where the finish line is you've indicated the milestones and you've given the uh, the process a name now the only thing remaining here is you can have conversations between each of these milestones. And I like to call these success criteria. So from the from the time you get the green light from the customer to the time that you schedule the work, what what's all the success criteria? What are all the things that need to be checked off in order to move to the next stage? So you would put check boxes underneath here and you would just list out all the things that need to happen. What's your success criteria? in order to complete this stage and then on to the next you would do the same what's all the success criteria list them all out and um, the other things you're going to be listing there which are nice to have and again i always like to start keep it really really simple and um, you're going to be going through this several times right it's a never-ending process of iterating but for each of these milestone steps you're going to list out what are all of the resources so if there's a software or a tool or a document or a template that you use, you're gonna to wanna to list that out. And then you're going to want to list out the owners. You know, Typically we do it by title. So who, who's the person that owns this milestone step? What are all the resources used? And what are what's the success criteria? Um, in other words, what are all the things that need to be true in order to move to the next uh, stage? And by going through this, you are going to save yourself so much heartache, so much frustration, because everybody is going to be, we're, we're visual creatures, right? We, we started out in caves with hieroglyphics. So this gives you a story, it gives you the chronology, it gives you the ability to talk about it, look at it, work on it, improve it, revise it. And this, I can't underscore enough how, uh, how helpful of a tool this is. I mean, we did it, uh, you know, just over the phone with, with our client, but we actually had a meeting like this um, this week on a new business that we're running. And it took 20 minutes for us to all get in a room, agree on, you know, what is the process called? Where's the start? Where's the finish? What are the milestones? And then first pass, what are all the, su the uh, success criteria within each milestone? So we're getting pretty technical in, in this episode, but if you've ever dealt with the frustration of mapping a process or even talking about a process, talking about what you do, how you do it, who does it, who should do it. Um, just by doing this alone and getting everyone on the same page will save you literally months and lots and lots and lots of uh, money and, and potential cost and wasted effort mistakes just by going through this simple exercise. So anyways, I, I wanted to share my framework with you on, on how to get everyone on the same page when it comes to how you do things in your business. I hope it's helpful. Again, all you need is a paper and, and a pen to do this. Um, otherwise, I'm almost in Vancouver and hope that was useful and I will talk to you guys soon.
Hey, Tim Uchuk here. And real quick, if you enjoyed this podcast episode, if you could take a couple quick seconds to give it a rating, it would be very much appreciated. And secondly, if you're looking for more tools and strategies on how you can crush it in life and business, just head on over to bookwithtim.com where I've put together a free case study which shows you how to unlock unprecedented freedom today by using the two power levers. Just head on over to bookwithtim.com. Until next time, wishing you success and freedom in your business. Cheers.